What's up guys, this is Mango here and welcome to another episode of Mango Chronicles. The showroom's not quite ready, but we figured that this video is essential because we have so many calls, so many DMs, so many emails asking about the Model 1. In front of me, I have a Model 1. It's a two channel TLD2. The reason why you know it's two channel is because it's got prongs inside instead of slats. This comes by itself a la carte, like you go to a steakhouse, you order your steak, veggies, and potatoes on the side. It does come with two unit strut nuts and two hex uh, screws, so you can mount it on a unit strut. You mount this on a unit strut. If you need one bar, the new bars that come with this are 90 watts. The old bars are 79 watts. So if you need 90 watts, you put 90 watts, and then you need two, three, four, five, whatever your preferred PPFD or amount of watts that you need in that space is what you buy. This is a bar, new bar, 90 watts. Snaps like, like so you light up your space. Spectrum tunable, if it's four channel, it's also two channel. The next segment that we're gonna cover is parts that you may need to operate this lighting system. We have the LMAT that operates all thin grow lights. We have the ECS9. By the way, the LMAT includes an ECS9, which is just a RJ12 to a four prong splitter. The ECS7, which is a uh, four prong connector with a Y splitter to connect lights to other lights for controllability. If you want to do spectrum control different from light to light, bar to bar, or row to row, you need an LMA LMAG for group control. This is the TDC. This is what you adapt to the power cords, to the daisy chain cords, to avoid the electrician pulling outlets. This also comes, I don't have it with me, but you have a, a six foot or a 10 foot cord. So I think it's a six foot cord. It's a TDC 120 for 120 volt and a TDC 240 for 240 volt. That's six foot. And it has a uh, three prong power in, sorry, three prong power in communication cable. It all turns into one. This is what you connect the lights with. If they're close together, you use this 12 inch. If they're farther apart, you use the two-footer. And this is what you connect the top lights to your ICLs. All right, for a view comparison and show you how versatile the Model 1 is, for easy viewing, I have done this for you guys. In this quadrant, we have the Model V, four bars, 350 watts. Right here, we have the Model H, 630 watts, eight bars. Right here, we try to assimilate what we had on this side, and then we have a four bar Model 1, 360 watts, 90 watts per bar. You could actually get away with only three bars at 270 watts per bench. You don't need the whole 360, 360 watts. And over here, we have Model 1, 630 watts, only seven bars. This area right here is cheaper than that area. Unlike conventional LED lights that you have a big driver that holds anywhere between two to eight drivers, uh, you replace it without losing light to your whole, uh, all your plants. Let me show you what you do. It's pretty easy. You undo the hex screws. You disconnect it. You grab a new one out of the box. You have just changed the driver of a Model 1. Easy peasy. Commercial cultivators, this is where you win, where you win big, or anybody wins big. The daisy chains that were designed for the conventional drivers, they also work for the Model Model 1. This is the power cord. You attach power cord to the three-way power uh, splitter. Communication cable, your Y, four-prong splitter, connects to this, and then your communication and power become one. So you don't have to pay your electrician $125 an hour, $85 an hour, union worker's gonna be a buck 25 an hour to put all the lighting boxes in your racks. Daisy chain cords, save you time, save you money, money in your pocket. In true think grow fashion, they always think of the least way to affect your plant when anything goes wrong. Back to think grow, if these bars go out, it's easy peasy, that's all you gotta do. Pull the bar out. Get a new bar that will ship to you in a cardboard tube. It'll take you longer to unpack this bar than it will to snap it in. Once it snaps, it ain't coming out. These bars, um, by the way, the old bars, the ones that are four foot long were 79 watt. They will work with the Model 1. So anybody that uses those UV lights that, that you bought from us, you can pop these, you can buy a Model 1 driver, pop the bars in there, and then you have a side light. And I'll show you that in a minute. These four foot bars come in two channel and four channel, and they also come in five foot. The five foot bars only come in four channel. One thing that I think Grow doesn't really advertise what the Model 1 is good for is for side light. For the sake of the video, don't mind the sticky tape on the side because it's not the way that you would uh, apply it, but. You have an automatic side light. Side light king, inner canopy king, LED king, right here, check it out. If you wanna line your whole room, five foot cord, and so on and so on and so on. You have side light through the whole room. Quick recap on the Model 1. If you need one bar, you buy one, one bar, one driver, 90 watts. If you want 
620 watts, you buy seven bars, seven drivers. If you're one of those guys that think the high wattage is gonna get you bigger and more weed, you can slide these things together in a four foot area, you can get 1200 watts. In a five foot area, you can get, I believe, 17 of these things and you can get like 1500 watts, if that's your thing. My thing, I would rather go by 630 watts, 720 watt max up top, and I'm gonna show you where the rest of the watts should go. Stay tuned.